Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I posted a video letting you know that Microsoft had confirmed that they had finally fixed the Windows 11 Defender LSA protection is off bug, which was asking you for a persistent restart. And that bug was part of the core isolation LSA protection. Now I'll leave a link to that video down below and um, because it will provide you with a lot more information if you would be interested. But just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, as I mentioned um, at the end of last week, if we head over to Windows Update, Microsoft had announced over on their known issues health dashboard page that the issue was resolved in an update for Windows security platform anti-malware, which was this platform update. So if we head to our definition updates, here was the update. KB5007651, and that was with version 1.0.2306.1002. So that's the security platform um, update that had addressed the issue, and that seems to be confirmed because there have been viewers who have posted that the issue has now been resolved, where that bug asking you for a persistent restart, saying that Windows Defender LSA protection is off, seems to be now addressed and i haven't seen the the actual um warning message since that update has rolled out so that's that one that's been addressed but now we have another issue and it seems like this lsa protection issue is just going up and down and up and down and this latest issue was actually um, pointed out to me by a viewer of this channel and you may have noticed you may have not but just bringing it to your attention that after uh, kb5007651 rolled out to address the Defender LSA protection bug, you may notice now that if you are using Microsoft Defender and you right click on the shield icon in your system tray, nothing happens. Where previously, before that update rolled out, this used to open up a pop-up fly-out menu, which gave you options like run quick launch and other options for the Windows Security Microsoft Defender app. And as you can see, I'm right clicking and nothing is happening. And this is actually unfortunate because I, I actually use this on a day-to-day -day basis because when I boot up my PCs in the morning, one of the first things I do is I right click and I just say run quick scan. It's just a kind of um, quick scan I do every morning just to check if there's nothing there that shouldn't be there. I've been doing it for years and now it was actually pointed out to me and as we can see nothing is happening. So obviously now that bug will have to be addressed by Microsoft and as mentioned although they had fixed the LSA protection bug with this security platform anti-malware update, it seems now that this little bug, we're right-clicking on the actual app icon in the system tray is not opening up that right-click context menu. And I hope Microsoft does um, fix this sooner than later because this is actually something, as mentioned, I do use on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a small little niggly thing, but nonetheless, if you are using it on a day-to-day -day basis, it does kind of affect your computing experience in the long run. And obviously with this, I will post and keep you updated. And if that does get addressed, I will let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.